JustAZ.com Productions with JustAZ Aquatics DIY Wet Dry or Trickle Aquarium Filter The trickle filter or wet dry filter is generally only used in larger aquariums, say 55 gallons or over. They hold a large amount of filter media without taking up any tank space and are easy to maintain. They are simple to make and scalable to any size. There are many variations of the wet dry filters, but they all work on the same principle of mixing oxygen and water. The wet dry filter is an external filter usually located under the main tank. It sits in another tank which is used as a reservoir. The filter is positioned vertically so water trickles down from one chamber to another. Inside each of these chambers is the filter media. The term wet dry is a bit misleading. A portion of the media is wet, that is, submerged. Water passes over or through other portions of the media, but they remain exposed to the open air, and those parts are considered the dry part of the filter, even though water flows through the media. Once the water passes through the filter, it is pumped back up into the tank. I found this plastic storage unit at a local department store. It has several drawers to use as compartments and I figured it would make a perfect wet dry filter. They come in many sizes, some have three drawers, others have five, and you can stack them. So you really could have as many drawers as you want. For this video, I'm going to build a three drawer compartment filter. I drilled a hole at the top to bring in water from the overflow. I'm going to remove the top compartment and in the second compartment I drilled a lot of small holes in the bottom of the drawer. The holes are about an eighth of an inch in diameter. This is so the water will be evenly distributed as it flows into the third compartment. The reason for the small holes is that the water backs up a bit and spreads out evenly on the bottom of the drawer. When drilling these holes, start small, then test. You can always enlarge the holes if necessary, but you can't make them smaller. I'll put bio balls or pot scrubbers in the third compartment to host bacteria. Since I want this compartment to drain quickly, I made the holes larger so the biological media isn't sitting in the water. The fourth compartment is filled with ceramic media and is submerged. Even though it is submerged, I still want to get an even flow around the media. So I drilled fairly large holes in the bottom and in the sides. I'm not going to use the fifth compartment at this time, so I'm just going to remove it. For my reservoir, I'm using this 10 gallon tank. You could use a bucket or a plastic bin. I will also need a pump and some tubing or PVC pipe for the return. For this demonstration, I am using a hang on the back overflow rather than a drilled tank. If you would like to learn more on how to make a hang on the back overflow, I've added an eighth video to this series to show you how. Water is removed from the tank via the overflow device and enters the filter. The filter floss in the first compartment acts as a mechanical filter capturing solids. The water then rains down into the next compartment where a mixture of air and water provide an environment for beneficial bacteria to grow. As water enters the third compartment, it passes through the ceramic rings which provide additional biological filtration. The clean water is collected in the reservoir and the pump returns it to the tank. Some people add sand and plants to their reservoir. Plants provide additional oxygen as well as keeping the algae growth down. Saltwater aquarists sometimes use this space to grow coral frogs. You can also use additional space for equipment that you don't want to have in your tanks, such as heaters and skimmers. 
An external filter is also a place to add any chemicals or medicine to your tank. And if you set it up in a convenient location, you can use it for top-off and water changes. Thanks for watching. Questions or comments? Put them in the comment section below. And subscribe to our channel for more videos on the DIY lifestyle.